And we are back, and we just finished 2021's Free Guy, rated PG-13, with a runtime of one hour and 55 minutes. What a treat! What did you think? I enjoyed this. This was a Holy lot of fun. Holy smokes! I didn't expect to enjoy this as much as I did. I'm going to go around the table and get impressions. Gigi, what did you think? Um, it was funny. It was funny. Did you dislike it? No. No. Okay. I just have a headache. Oh, sorry. Did you have a favorite character? Blue shirt guy, maybe? Millie. Millie. Molotov girl? That Molotov was her name. girl, yeah. Uh, did you have a favorite scene? When he saves that one guy and then like that guy is happy. Or the guy's on fire. <laughs> and then he <laughs> saves him and then someone shoots, shoots him, him and then starts dancing on the floor. Yeah, that was terrible. What about you, Olive G? Did you like this movie? Yeah. Yeah? What would you like about it? Everything. Everything. It was a lot. It was, it was a lot of answer. fun, right? It was a lot of uh, fun, right? And also, I like video games. You like video games, yes. Maybe one day you'll make video games, but don't be like Antoine. Yeah. Please. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah. I mean, I remember when it was first advertised. I was like, eh, kind of on the fence about it. But then I heard somebody say, "Oh, this is this is great for like all you know, ages. all ages. It's a lot of fun." And I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. And it was really fun. It was yes. good. It, yes. It, it, yeah. I mean, it, it really hit on like all things. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, of course, is, is charming as always. As always. As always. Uh, it was like full of little cameos and Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Just the ridiculousness of video games. Just people getting ki like killed in the background and like people dancing over them and thrusting their butts into their <laughs> corpse's face. And and also the people that play them. Yeah, the people the, that play them. The people that still I, I live love little home girls. Those little girls, you know, <laughs> just shoot that mother, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, uh, in the game, Channing Tatum is there. And, like, you see Channing Tatum in real life. And he's, like, that guy who always plays, like, a loser. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's like, stop yes. vacuuming, mom. Oh my God, that was You're hilarious. 22, there's, there is no God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was so many good little jokes in there. Yeah, and, really and good script. Really, really good, good script. script. I, I and liked. even though this had a lot of characters, nobody's wasted. There wasn't any drag. Yeah. I was not bored. I did not fall asleep. No, no, it was, it was perfectly paced. There wasn't, perfectly any, there wasn't paced. any lull. Um yeah, they they really did a good story, and even even like the the love aspects, like the love story aspects of it, felt earned, and <laughs> it it was just funny. It would it really was just funny. At the end, I really wanted one of them to at least get hit by a car. Yes, yeah, yes, well, because that's, you're a lunatic. That's you. You're bloodthirsty. <laughs> did you have a favorite character? Blue shirt guy. Blue shirt guy. What about uh, you? Did you have a favorite character? Um, my favorite character was the lady that kept losing her kittens, <laughs> who wounds up, who wound up with the dude at the end. The best. I don't know kitten. if she wound up with him, but she was like on his arm, like caressing his bicep. At exactly. The end. Which I and was he's like, holding the basket of kittens. Yeah. <laughs> or the barista who. The who? The barista. The, the coffee the lady coffee, who. The, who the, made, the lady who made the coffee. Who broke out of her shell and started making the fancy coffee? Ah, uh, next time just called a Brewster. It's called a barista, not a Brewster. Oh yeah, Brewster is an Animal Crossing character. <laughs> Brewster would be a good name for somebody who makes coffee, because they brew coffee. Brewster. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> see, I, 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 I'd associate that more with beer. A Brewster. Yes, <laughs> that's the, true. Brewster is his name. It's actually called a barista. The barista, yeah. I, I thought it was a Brewster. No. <laughs> Brewster is also a good name for a dog. Yeah. All right, we're, we're going off on a weird oh. tangent here. But let's, let's, let's get back on track. Brewster. Yeah, Brewster. Okay, so... Brewster. Yes. yes. Who was your favorite character, Olive G? Um, was it Blue Shirt Guy? Okay, so say blue shirt guy. It was blue shirt guy. Not dude. No, no you didn't like the dude. <laughs> no. 
dude was ridiculous. Dude was ridiculous. <laughs> I also, I, I guess I cheated and I looked at the IMDb page, but Hugh Jackman and Dwayne Johnson also do voice. They do voices, yeah. In this, Dwayne's I under I totally got, but Hugh Jackman's I did not catch at all. Yeah, I didn't realize that was. I Hugh didn't Jackman. realize that was him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's lots of little Easter eggs in there. Uh, I like the story. I like the idea of that there's like this, these people who are just on loops and something happens, like a little catalyst happens that just like breaks that one guy out of that loop. And then through the stuff that he does, he starts breaking everybody else out. out. And to me, that, that, was, that was clever. That, yeah. was, that was really good. I also and and like they handled it. I think they handled it really well. And I also, it was nice seeing like just characters who were like relentlessly optimistic, but not in a sickening way. Yeah. yeah. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. I also liked how that message kind of translates to the in real life situations. Yeah. I mean, people get stuck in ruts. You know, yeah, people, for sure. For sure. Definitely. And sometimes you just have to find that thing that, the match that lights your fire to make exactly you, your inspiration your inspiration which also sort of carried over into the true love story i was wondering how they were gonna end that because i was like well she can't stay there yeah she obviously can't have a, a true relationship with with an algorithm blue shirt guy <laughs> yeah yeah so that was i but was, that was handled brilliantly as well as well you know? yes and i was wondering when she would put all the pieces together she didn't even oh. do it on her own yeah not really blue no sh- yeah it was yeah. the wisdom of blue shirt guy that, yeah. that got her there and that was a sweet scene when he when she's like oh this is so hard and he's like oh okay let me make let me, it easy for you. It for you yeah 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 brian reynolds wow he is really coming to his own huh from two guys a girl in a pizza place or whatever the hell that show was yeah that was that was the show yeah I mean, he's really made some really smart choices, and I really love that. I mean, even if it's something goofy or silly, there's usually a lot of heart in his little projects. Even like something like Detective Pikachu, which should not have worked. You know what I mean? That's True. another movie where yeah. I was just like, I have no interest in watching this. And then I think you guys forced me to watch it, and I was like, oh my God, I was completely yeah, it's, entertained. It's what? Sweet, it's a sweet movie. He, it is he, a sweet he, movie. He, he does good at finding movies that he finds like a sweetness to the role. Yeah. You know? yeah. Even, even Deadpool. Even Deadpool. Even yeah. Deadpool, I would say. Yeah. You know, even Deadpool too is like with the, the relationship with the little kid, the yeah. kid from. Uh, Hunt for the Wildebeest people or whatever. I love that movie. But uh, another Taika. Another Look, Taika Waititi. Yeah, everything comes full circle. Yeah. Love it. Taika Waititi was a, just a douchebag. Sure. Oh, my God. I wanted somebody to kick him in the face or take a fire extinguisher to his face, but mm-hmm. it didn't happen. But, I mean, you know, he gets his comeuppance. I'm going to go around the table and get numbers. All of G, 1 to 10. What are you going to give this movie? Eight. Eight. GG. Uh, eight. Eight. I too would give it an eight. What would you give it? A- I'd give it an eight too. This was a lot of fun. This, this was a I mean, lot of fun. It's solid, not gonna. Solid, it's not gonna fun. change your life. Maybe it will change your life. I don't know. Maybe you're stuck in a rut and you need a little inspiration Should, to get out of it. Yeah. But bottom line, it's just fun. It's a nice little adventure. There's the whole plot with we want to like prove that this guy stole our code and and whatnot. And then there's the whole in in the the, the world recognizing uh the fact that this this blue guy blue shirt guy exists and and not knowing that he is just an npc the whole time Mm -hmm. and it it was really good i i I enjoyed it a lot yeah yeah i mean the the from where it starts to where it ends the messages uh the acting the story really really solid done solidly done the fx was really cool when yeah. he puts on the glasses and he sees the the gaming world and stuff, that was really well done. I don't want to give too much away because this is kind of a new movie, but I think yeah. you alluded to, well, it's a couple of months old. You alluded to some Easter eggs and stuff that happen or Easter eggs in the story. Those were also fun for nostalgia and, and whatnot and just 
pop culture references. Yeah. That was that was really fun. And then the cameo by so yes. that's you know, a lot of a lot of yeah, a lot of really, really good mm-hmm. little things thrown in. So yeah. kudos Sean Levy, who is the director on this. Did he also co write it? Let's see. What does IMDB say? I I wanna say yes. No, the screenplay is by Zach Penn and Matt Lieberman. Okay. But still just really well thought out, really well done. Lots of fun. I can't stop saying fun. It was Yeah, just, just fun, tons fun. of fun. I mean, if you haven't seen it and you're looking for just some new fresh content, good storytelling, good characters, good actors doing their thing definitely definitely check out 2001's free guy 2001 oh 2021's sorry <laughs> wow yeah. well, i just 20 years 20 ago years. <laughs> before half the stuff they reference existed i know and probably before some those people were bored no not just you know what Possibly. possibly there were yeah. some there, there were some, some young, young people faces if they were if they were if they were born they were like babies <laughs> probably 2001 was, was i alive oh wait, no. no you were not no. alive <laughs> you weren't even a thought yeah yeah i don't even think you and i were even married we were dating but we were not even married mm-hmm. at that point but uh yeah a ton of fun highly highly recommend if you have not seen it it is currently for rent on amazon prime go check it out yeah Go check out Free Guy. Yeah. Good kudos, Ryan Reynolds. He is on a streak. Good for you him. He did it again, Reynolds. He did it again. Damn you, Phil. Reynolds. Making me love your body of work. I hate it. No, just kidding. I, I've always liked that guy. Yeah. He seems like fun. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it from us. And we will bid you all a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.